Building Sustainable Eco Villages. One Community Weekly Progress Update, number 453. One Community is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We are creating open source and free shared blueprints and resources, tools and tutorials, and do it yourself instructions for highest good living. Creating solution models that create additional solution creating models in the service of all life on this planet. My name is Jay Sable, and I'm the executive director of the One Community 501c3 nonprofit organization. One community is bringing together people with the consciousness and the desire for the highest good of all life on this planet to build sustainable and self-replicating teacher demonstration hubs as a pathway to global sustainability. And this is our November 28th, 2021 edition of our weekly progress update. And today's topic is building sustainable eco villages. And the sustainable eco villages that we are designing to build are shown in the background of this video right now. And so our mission, our goal, is to make sustainability easy enough and demonstrate what's possible. And so we are bringing in people with the consciousness and the desire to want to do that, and we're creating open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do-it-yourself instructions for all aspects of highest good living. And for us, we've identified the foundations of a sustainable civilization and those aspects of highest good living as food, energy, housing, fulfilled living, what we call highest good approaches to education, highest good economics, and true earth stewardship. We're putting all those things together to demonstrate them as a teacher demonstration hub designed to create even more open source tools, tutorials, resources, and do it yourself instructions for everything that we're creating. And so, and we're open sourcing it all so that other people can build sustainable eco villages as well. And so, we talk about creating self replicating solutions. And so, our self replicating solution is a teacher demonstration hub designed to teach others how to create additional teacher demonstration hubs. You know, so it's a self-replicating model. And we know that if we can make it easy enough, affordable enough, and demonstrate it's attractive enough, then the idea will spread its own. And so all the open source tools and the tutorials and the resources and do-it-yourself instructions are designed to do just that, to make, it, to make it easy enough and affordable enough to replicate. And then the demonstration model is designed to demonstrate what's possible when you bring people together to create something like this and demonstrate you know what living in an environment like this is really like you know and the beauty of what it is that we're doing is that the more fun the more enjoyable the more amazing we can create the environment and the more open source and and free sharing that we do of the environment the more we invite people to participate the more successful the environment will be and so we're we're purpose for that like we're creating 30 percent of the environment that we're that we'll be building as visitor spaces so that we can invite people from around the world to come and experience what it is that we're creating and if they like what they see to take everything with them to take the plans to be able to access our website and see everything that's necessary to get the con to get what we're creating uh, permitted to be able to construct everything, where to buy your, your your materials, you know exactly how much everything costs for us, like purchase orders, you know permitted plans, all those details provided for free and open source, so that building sustainable eco villages becomes easy and ultimately mainstream. And like I said, as people come in and visit, you know the more fun we're having, the more enjoyable the environment is, the more amazing we can share what the difference is between a cooperative and collaborative environment versus an everyone for themselves paradigm the more successful we'll be. And so, you know, that's what the, you know, the fulfilled living aspect is all about. And the highest good ed education, the highest good economic models, the tourist stewardship, those are built on that foundation of the physical foundations, the food, the energy, and the housing, so that people can really see like, hey, through radical sustainability, you can reduce the cost of living, you know, we can produce healthier, higher quality food, and we can demonstrate that you have more free time and more things to do with that free time than you'd have in any traditional environment. You know, and everything is within walking distance and everything is free and included within the environment. So think of like a cruise type environment or uh, or like a club med type environment where instead of everybody being there as employees, they're all fair and equal owners of the environment maintaining it. You know, and so right now, Airbnb is people are renting out their space so people can come and stay and they're paying their bills that way. We want to demonstrate an entire eco village around that idea where people can come and stay and experience it. And it's not just renting a space within the environment, it's coming and being a part of the culture and the experience 
of living with an environment, sharing like the heart and the soul of what it is that we're creating with everybody that visits so they can really see like, oh, this is what enriched and fulfilled living looks like, at least from a one community perspective. And look at all the different things, amazing things that we can, we can participate in. And this is why I say it's like, a club med or a cruise environment where when you go to those environments everything is there within walking distance everything's provided for you nothing costs any money you know you can just walk and get what you want and it's available and so one community is designed to take that idea to the next level as a living environment owned and operated by everybody that maintains it and to demonstrate that it can be so much better than those environments you know higher quality food but also way more diversity and activities and things to do you know and run by people that are really really committed to the environment and making it everything that we can make it you know and then spreading this idea around the world so it's a solution building sustainable eco villages not just for people that want a new way of living but also to take this idea into disaster areas take this idea into areas where housing is a real problem to take this idea where into areas where you know food security is a real plot or problem where starvation is an issue and to build communities that teach people how to use permaculture principles and earth regenerative principles to be able to regreen the desert which is already happening in places around the world but to take the resources where they're needed most all around the world and to teach people these skills and to build teacher demonstration hubs designed to teach others how to build teacher demonstration hubs as well. So building sustainable eco villages as a solution to climate change, as a solution to poverty, as a solution to food insecurity, as a solution to social injustice and inequality, as a solution to low quality education, as a solution to um, uh, lack of energy infrastructure, all of these things and replicating it around the world to the degree that it becomes a solution to much, much bigger problems as well. I mean, climate change being a huge problem. So that's one major problem we're tackling. But imagine Imagine people having enough of what they need and having the resources not only to meet the needs of themselves and their families, but to meet the needs of everybody else as well. This is what we want to create because we see that as a solution to crime. We see that as a solution to poverty. We see that as a solution to war and conflict. Like all these things, how do we create a world that truly works for everybody? You know, so the paradigm becomes cooperation, collaboration, because everybody has what they need. So instead of this competition where people are trying to battle each other for or compete with each other, instead we work together to create a world that works for everybody. And as more and more people have everything that they need, they become part of the global cooperation, collaborative experience, working to free even more people from lack to share the abundance, and once again, to create a world that works for everybody. So this is our idea, building sustainable eco-villages as a solution to pretty much all of humanity's problems if you go out far enough. You know, to reach that tipping point, to reach that, that critical mass where enough people are participating so we can positively and permanently change this planet and, and create a sustainable civilization and, and touch the lives of every single person on this planet and ultimately every living thing on this planet as we move towards sustainability away from the lack of sustainability that we have. Like currently what we're doing is by definition not sustainable. You know, so we see it as a time to create a sustainable solution and teach people that. Give that as our gift to humanity and our gift to ourselves and to future generations, you know, to come. And so this is what one community is up to. Uh, and everybody's invited to participate, and it will only grow and become even easier to participate as we build one community, invite people to come and experience what it is that we're doing, create a place for people that are really committed to our goals of open source and global change to actually come and live at one community, become part of our team, living in this environment, creating this environment, sharing this environment, and then working with other people around the world that may have completely different goals, but also want to open source and free share what it is that they're creating. And then of course, offering this open source and free shared content and plans and tutorials and resources for anyone anywhere without ever having to interact with us. So it could just be replicated straight from the inf information that we're providing. So this is what One Community is up to. We're a 100% volunteer organization. We've had over 600 volunteers contribute to our organization so far. Um, we're a nonprofit organization, non-governmental organization, and this is what we're creating. So if you'd like to see details, specifics of everything that we've done last week, this is our written blog with the same name as this video. And uh, if you'd like to see bullet points for all the major components of our project, stick around for another couple of minutes. And if you'd like to help out, this is our helping page. And with that, until next week, we will. Of course, keep on keeping on. Thanks for following our progress.
The one community approach to highest good housing is eco-artistic home building that is affordable, sustainable, do-it-yourself duplicable, resource and space efficient, and consists of seven different sustainably constructed village models. One community is also creating an open source duplicable city center. It is designed to be LEED Platinum certified, provide 12 guest rooms, dining for over 150 people, and laundry and recreation space for over 300 people, all while saving money, time, space, and resources. One community's approach to highest good food is duplicable almost anywhere, scalable for different needs, more biodiverse and nutritious, part of forwarding a global open source botanical garden collaborative and includes nine different free shared and duplicable growing environments. The next component is highest good education. This component is complete and pretty much ready to launch once we're on the property. One community's approach to highest good education is designed for all age groups, adaptable to any schooling environment, inspiring and fun for all participants, includes national standards, all subjects, lesson plans, teaching strategies, learning strategies and tools, classroom design, and more. The one community approach to highest good society is globally focused, individually enriching, cooperative and collaborative, includes a highest good network and application, four different economic models, and combines fulfilled living and true earth stewardship for the benefit of all people and all life on this planet.